the New Century Academy presents. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Wherever you are in the world, this is Mr. Roy, and I'm so glad to announce to you that I'm going to be your mathematics teacher for today. Today we are just going to talk about a very, very short part of matrix, and that will be addition and subtraction of matrix. I'm sure you're going to enjoy yourself. Follow me as we dive into the world of math. Now, we've already made a video on introduction to matrix. In case you've not seen that video, scroll down to the bottom of this video. you see the link of that video there. Click on it, watch that video before you watch this one. All right, let's go back to uh, addition and subtraction of matrix. We'll start with addition of matrix. Now, let's assume that you are a store owner somewhere in London. And what you sell is jerseys. You sell jerseys. You sell jerseys. Okay. Let's say this is your store somewhere in London. Okay. And inside the store, you have 56. 56 blue jerseys okay that's Chelsea jerseys and 73 Manchester United jerseys okay that is one of your store now you have another store somewhere in Southampton in the UK and you also sell Chelsea jerseys and um, Chelsea jerseys and also Manchester United jerseys so let's assume you have 42 Chelsea jerseys in this store and you have 18 Manchester United jerseys in this store okay so this is store one and this is store two so you have two stores in the UK one in London and the other one in South Hampton. okay now of course we can represent this information with a matrix okay so if this is your business matrix this is store one and this is store two in store one let's say this Chelsea jerseys and Manchester United jerseys Man U jerseys okay now in store one you have 56 Chelsea jerseys. In store two, you have 42 Chelsea jerseys. In store one, you have 73 Manchester United jerseys. And in store two, you have 18 Manchester United jerseys. You see, we've successfully represented this information in your store in a very, very on size or shorting fashion and that's what matrix does for your information okay now what if your supplier your supplier brings brings what if your supplier brings jerseys each 
50 jerseys to your store one, store one and store two, 50 Chelsea jerseys to your store one, and 50 Chelsea jerseys to your store two, and the supplier did not bring any jersey to your Manchester United jersey to your store one, but brought 25 Manchester United jerseys to your store too. Okay, now there's a way certainly we can calculate the total number of each jersey you have in each store and that is simply addition. So these are the numbers of jerseys you have in each store and the types of jerseys you have in each store. These are the, the numbers of the supplies. To find the total number of jerseys you have in each store now, what you do, you simply add, okay? So we add this matrix to this. What you do is very easy. Now, this matrix is equivalent to this. Their positioning is equivalent. So you add this to this. So 56, okay, let's just write it here to be consistent. So our total number of jerseys in each store will be 56 plus 50 will be 106. The positioning has to be consistent. Then you have 42 to 50 because the positioning is relevant and that will be 92. Okay. Then 73 plus 0 will be 73 and 18 plus 25 will be 3, 4. Okay, that will be 43. Alright, so the total number of jerseys you have in each store will be this. So in store 1, you have 106 Chelsea jerseys now. In store 2, you have 92 Chelsea jerseys. In store 1, you have 73 Manchester United jerseys because they didn't supply any, the supplier didn't bring any jersey. And in store 2, you now have 43 Manchester United jerseys. Okay? So, adding matrix is possible and that's just what you do. I'm sure you find that very, very easy. Now, let's go to subtraction of matrix. Now, just like the scenario we painted with addition of matrix, we can also use that same scenario to explain subtraction of matrix. Now, let's assume you are a very beautiful lady and you have two stores. Two stores. One in Pari and one in Leon. So this one is in Pari and this one is in Leon. Okay? But what do you sell? You also sell jerseys. Okay? In your store one, and this is store two, in your store one, you, you have, let's say, 97. Chelsea jerseys and seven Manchester United jerseys. Now, in, in your Leon store, let's say you have 64 Chelsea jerseys and 11 Manchester United jerseys. Okay? Now, of course, beautiful CEO, you will see whatever happens in the two stories. Now, we can represent this with a matrix, because we already know that. So with a matrix, all we need to do, let me use the black color for this, all we need to do is to do this, this is Chelsea, and this is my United jerseys. Okay, then this is our Paris store, 
and this is the, the um, score. So, using matrix to represent the content of each store, Chelsea in store 1, Paris store is 97, Chelsea in Leon store is 64, Jersey. Number of jerseys in Paris store, that Man U jersey is, is 7. While the number of Man U jersey you have in Leon is 11. So using metrics, we represented the information on the content of each of your store with the metrics. And you can see how shortened it is. Now, let's assume at the end of the day, your managers gave you the figures of the numbers of jerseys that were sold. Mm. In your Paris store, let's assume the number of Manchester United jerseys that were sold, that were sold, was one. So, unfortunately, they sold only one jersey for that day. But for Chelsea jerseys, they sold 24. That is for your Paris store, that store one. For your Lyon store, let's say your manager informed you that at the end of the day, they were able to sell 30 Chelsea jerseys and seven Manchester United jerseys. Okay. So, how many number of jerseys are left in both stores? We can also represent that with a matrix. And how we can find that is to subtract. So what we can do is to represent this information of the number of jerseys sold in a matrix and subtract it from this matrix that represents the total number of jerseys we had prior to the sale. So let's try and represent this in a matrix quickly. The number of jerseys sold. This is Chelsea. This is Man U. Okay, so they sold 24 jersey, Chelsea jerseys your Paris store 24. In your Lyon store, they sold 30. Okay. In your Paris store, they sold one Manchester United jersey, and in your Lyon store, they sold seven. So this matrix represents the total number of jerseys you had before. And this matrix represents the number of jerseys that were sold at the end of the day. As the CEO of the business, you would want to know the number and the types of jerseys that are left. And with matrix, you can easily do that. So what you do is easy. You take this matrix away from this. You subtract this matrix from this. And that's where subtraction in the matrix comes in. And it's very important, especially to be so what do we do? We subtract 97, 97, four. This is seven. Sorry, you don't need that. This is seven. This is eleven. Then. Matrix that represents the number so this is 24, this is 30, this is this is 1, and this is 7. It was one. So you're subtracting. Okay, so this is what we do. So this match this entry is equivalent in position to this entry. So you subtract them. So 24 minus this will give us. About the matrix that is B e and seven. 
so that will be 73 okay next you go to this minus this and that will give us 34 okay then this is the equivalent to this in position while this is the equivalent to this in position so 7 minus 1 will give us 6 while 11 minus 7 will give us 4 okay so when you look at this you can see that at the end of the day we've been able to find out the number of places we have in each store both in Paris and in Lyon and not just that you know the types of Jesses that are left. You see, matrix is information in a very compressed way. All right, I'm sure you've learned so much on addition and subtraction of matrix. Um, for more of our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, the New Century Academy channel, and you can also scroll down below this video. There are several links there, special videos, especially. Oh,